I was born here in New York. My mom used to live in um, Rockaway, Queens. And then when I was three, she decided to move to El Salvador. So we moved there and we lived there for eight years. And it was her, my brother, and my sister and I. My sister came back four years later and I came back eight years later. But me and my sister were like inseparable. Like she was like basically like my mother because she always took care of me. And, but then my mom was always like busy working because like, you know, she was a single parent. And then when I came back, I didn't speak English. I only spoke Spanish. I didn't know how to go about schools because I didn't have like parental guidance. So I just asked my guidance counselor at the high school and he was the one that helped me. I originally came here wanting to be a nurse. I like it, I like anything really in the medical field, but I don't think my heart was in it. And then I decided to do biology. And then I was like, I wanna be a physical therapist, do biopsych, and biopsych is more relatable to physical therapy because like, you learn about the brain, but also about the anatomy of the body. We've done like eight to 10 different like cleanups slash builds. After Sandy happened, we have like every weekend we try to like have a group of people just go and volunteer, like demolishing like homes. And so we've done a lot of that. Of that. And then we're also working on going overseas. This year we decided not to go because we wanted to give the money we raised to Sandy victims. My main thing is God because like, I don't think I would have gotten this far without God. He definitely plays a big, huge role in my life, having God there and you know, the family and friends and like all the nice people kind of like always there behind me, kind of like having my back saying, you could do this and knowing that I know that they believe in me definitely like, you know, helps me keep going and stuff. I also believe that God puts people in your life sometimes that eventually they leave, but they were there during that time. So I feel like people come into your life for a certain time period to get you through a certain stage in life, but then they move on to do that to other people's lives, you know? So I had my turn now, I'm gonna get other people to come to my life and help me. Once I graduate here, it's not gonna just be like, I'm done. I won't feel like satisfied until I get my doctor degree, until I can be like Dr. Zuniga. So when I become that person, then I, yeah, I wanna work international. I wanna go overseas and go help unfortunate families around the world. I'm definitely gonna have an impact in their lives and be able to make them feel better, you know?